I'm Jeff Philbin, and this is Dinner Diaz, a daily delivery of fresh ideas for dinner just for you. Today, we spring into summer with recipes for a sunny celebration as we make sweet chili chicken skewers all done in the kitchen, plus a watermelon feta salad and a peach white wine spritzer to cool you down after all that not so hard work. together today with Aleka Schunk. You might know her from Aleka's Get Together, the online space she created to combine her two passions, throwing epic parties and whipping up delicious dishes. Well, welcome to the Dinner Diaz Kitchen. Thank you. Sounds like we're gonna have a lot of fun with these two. Yes, yes. Today, we're easing into the warmer months with some summer flavors as we make sweet chili chicken skewers, plus an arugula feta flatbread and a watermelon feta salad and a peach white wine spritzer. Mm -hmm. I know it's a lot, but it's all delicious and all pairs so well together. So oh. I think it'll be a great thing to make together like if you're entertaining this summer. I love it. And let's start entertaining now. So yeah. where do we start then? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get the uh, marinade done for your chicken skewers because the more mm -hmm. flavor we infuse earlier on, the better. Okay. Um, and we can marinate for like a couple hours or overnight. Okay. So it's up to you how much time you have. Um, I'm gonna just take my chicken thighs here. Okay and I'm gonna trim off some of the excess fat because we don't need, chicken thighs itself are very moist and juicy. Sure. Which is why I love thighs. Breasts are very dry, mm -hmm. um, so we don't really need all this extra fat. So if we can just trim them and then dice up our chicken. It's, it's summertime, really he's gotta go a little bit leaner, a little bit cleaner, right? <laughs> okay, I get yes. it. Yeah, so once we um, get rid of all this excess fat, we're just gonna dice up our chicken into, I would say like one inch squares okay not really cubes but okay does it matter if it's not like all uniform in size because chicken thighs like i said are very forgiving sure and if we overcook overcook one it's not gonna end up drying out perfect one chicken and then one you know so it doesn't matter if they're not all perfectly the same um size so once we dice this up we're gonna add our marinade and then kind of let all the flavors melt together and then skewer these guys now you like to have chicken thighs because also the flavor too, I'm assuming? Oh, yes. I think they're, they pack so much more flavor. And they, I think they absorb more flavor mm -hmm. too. Um, and I, like I said, they, they kind of remind me of um, a gyro. Okay. You know, uh, everyone calls it a gyro. Yeah. So what, like, now you're of a Greek descent. So what is the proper pronunciation <laughs> you know, for a it's, gyro? It's not gyro. <laughs> it's not that gyro. No, but this is like, kind of reminds me of because you know, in Greece and some, you know, Greek places around uh, that sell it have mm -hmm. the rotisserie yes. and they layer the, the meat, oh, the pork, chicken, whatever it is, and mm -hmm. they layer on top of each other and they, and it comes out so juicy because it's such thin layers mm -hmm. of meat. Um, and then they shave it off and this is kind of, reminds me of it a it little bit. It kind of has a little bit of like, yeah. Yeah. all right. So, so our chicken's ready to go. Yep. What else do we have to do with this marinade? So chicken's ready to go, and then we're gonna add in all of our spices and some other um, extra yummy stuff to give it some more flavor. So we're gonna, let's start with our salt. Okay, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of salt. It seems like a lot, but most of it's just gonna sit in the marinade. It's not gonna really like go into the chicken. Okay. Um, some pepper, freshly cracked I like. Some onion powder. Nice. Some, gar oh, get all that in there. Some garlic powder, because I feel like you add onion powder, you have to pair it with garlic powder. It's, it's got to be like both of them. It's Can't like the, it's, it's a They're dynamic like duo. Sister. Exactly. <laughs> um, some chili powder. Okay. Some smoked paprika. Very which nice. I think if you've never used smoked paprika, you should try to play around with the flavors because it really adds such another layer. Oh, totally. I don't think a lot of people are used to it. Uh -huh. But these are all approachable ingredients so far. Yeah, okay. sure. Um, some mayonnaise. Very nice. Keep it nice and thick and add some a little bit of fat. And then... The best stuff. This is why it's called sweet chili chicken skewers. Nice. Some sweet chili sauce. Now, this is mild. Okay. If you want to get spicy, if you like some heat, you can definitely pick a regular okay. sweet chili sauce, and there's all kinds in the store. Pick what you like, but make sure if you don't like heat, it says mild, because the other day I You went up, all in, and, and you I were... was like, oh, too spicy. <laughs> and it kind of ruined the meal for it you did. there. So you can always add up, but and, you can't take it away. And it's safer if you're having guests over, unless you know everybody likes the spicy. It's sure. better to just to just, you know, keep it, keep it more of the mild side. Okay. So we're gonna mix all this up. Mm -hmm. And then once this is nice and combined, we are going to cover it with some wrap, saran wrap. Okay. Uh, yep, here we go. 
Okay. And then we're going to let it marinate or uh, marinate overnight or like I said, at least an hour. At least an hour. Overnight, if you do more than 24 hours, it'll get mushy chicken. Okay. So we don't want to do it too long. So. Nothing more than that. Yeah. To grab Aleka's idea for this summer spread, go to dinnerdias.com. Everything you need is all in one place with the ingredients and the directions are ready to print. Just get your phone, open up the camera app and point at the TV to scan the QR code right there. Mm -hmm. No complicated app to download, just the regular camera. And once it sees that, a link to our website will pop up on your phone. All right, so that's gonna go marinating yes. into the fridge yep. here. Yep, pop it in the fridge. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some onions that we've gotta start caramelizing up. Yes. Okay. So, so we're going to first make sure our skillet is nice and hot. Mm -hmm because we want to get it going quickly. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add about a couple of tablespoons and I'm going to put more oil than I normally would because we're going to use the leftover oil for our flatbread later Ooh. and some flavor. So then it's going to take all the flavor from the onions. Yes, that okay. too. Yeah. So Very let's nice. Just place those in. Nice. And you nice, a nice sizzle is nice. Nice to hear, you know, your heat is hot enough. Um, and the reason we're doing this is to bring out all the sugars in the in the onions. Like, mm -hmm. who doesn't love caramelized onions? Oh, absolutely. Make a dish, like, so much more elevated. So we're going to let them sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so we just got to be patient with this. We yes. just got to let them do their thing. Yes. Let them do their thing. It's going to take some time. Uh, but it's worth but it. But it's worth it. Yes, it's worth me. it because our <laughs> onions have some caramelizing to do. So we'll give them some privacy while we take a break. But when we come back, we're grilling our chicken, but on the stove. Ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Aleka Shunk is with us today. She's online with recipes and tips for entertaining at home at Aleka's Get Together and is entertaining us with recipes and tips making sweet chili chicken skewers, an arugula feta flatbread, watermelon feta salad, and a peach white wine spritzer. Before the break, we started our skewers, trimming and dicing some chicken thighs, and then marinating in a mix of salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, smoked paprika, which Aleka says everyone needs to try, some mayo, and her secret ingredient of sweet chili sauce. She's gone with a mild one, but if you're brave enough to up the Scoville level, you can go nuts when you make it at home. While that went into the fridge, we started caramelizing our onions, and while they finish up, what's next? So after our chicken is marinated at least an hour, if not overnight, mm -hmm. so this is 24 hours we're going on here, we're gonna do the fun part and skewer our chicken. So you can use wooden skewers if you want. Mm -hmm. Usually I um, grill these outside if you have a grill, go mm -hmm. outside, I mm -hmm. like a grill. Um, but make sure you soak your yeah. skewers because they will burn. Okay, because uh, you're loading these bad boys like, up. These are looking good. Like a gyro, like I said. That's okay. I'm seeing that. You I know, can like a souvlaki, actually. Like, because of the chicken is. piece yes. to it there. We're not having the lamb to it. I did, okay. Yeah, but no, I mean, a good skewer, I feel like it's really like, there's a lot of meat on it. And mm -hmm. because they're so thin, um, it doesn't really matter if, uh, you know, we're jamming them on there. They're going to cook nicely. I love it. Don't worry about writing down the recipe, my friends. You can grab it over at our website, dinnerdias.com, where we have it ready for you to print. Just scan the QR code to get there. Okay, so yeah, if you want to get them started, we're going to do like a little drizzle of olive oil okay. in the grill pan, nice and nice, nice and hot. We want to hear a nice sizzle. Um, and then we can just lay them perpendicular to the, the way the grill grates are going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can see it smoke and it looks nice and good, yeah. Oh yeah, we're just gonna make sure we get all that oil everywhere. <laughs> and oh yeah. oh yeah, there we go. Very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's it? You know, it's so much fun when you can have the smell of like the grill still happening, but it's like less cleanup, less of that char, no. less of what's happening outside with yeah. like, you know, and ah, I gotta get the Weber all cleaned up. No, 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 you got the grill pan. You gotta clean it before you. And bingo, and like here it's like, yeah. mm, still got that same reward. Yeah, and these are really inexpensive, so everyone should have one, especially on the grill. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 
So we're going to let them get nice and brown. They're going to take like seven to ten minutes on each side. Okay. Although I like to rotate them a lot. Okay. Um, in the meantime. So this is so this is something that you want to stay close to yeah. and make sure that you're monitoring and making yeah. sure that you're not just going to let it. Yep. Yeah. And play okay. around with the heat. I like to keep it medium high. Okay. Um, but like I said, you can't really dry out the side. So we need to throw some color and then make sure it's cooked through. I love it. What's next then? So we're going to prep our... Uh, our naan, okay? okay. Um, you can use pita bread if you want for your flatbread. I find pita bread to be more dry and less flavorful. Okay. Uh, I love naan. I do too. Um, especially they have garlic naan out there that's already garlicky. Um, so choose whatever you want. Okay. Um, but either way, we're gonna add some more flavor. I so love that. I love that. Because if you did buy it, it might have a base to work yeah. with, but you can yeah. always up the ante. Exactly. And this is what we're going to do here. So what exactly. are we going to do with this? So instead of serving it just like this where it's dry, we're going to um, add some salt to a little bit of olive oil to season our bread, some garlic powder. Again, I love garlic powder. Mm -hmm. And then some freshly cracked black pepper. And then we're going to brush this onto our naan or your pita bread, whatever you're using. And then we're gonna toast it up because it's going to give it a nice crust and nice flavor. I so love it. We'll do that. Both sides. And then if you want to do me the honor and throw that in there. I certainly can. <laughs> Thank you so here. much. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, and then you can see our onions over here are pretty caramelized. You want like a little, nice light brown color. If they start to get too dark or black, mm -hmm. throw some water in there to slow it down. Slow down the cooling process. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they will sh shrink down a lot. So that we're going to use all that for the flatbread. I um, love it. And yeah. all of the oil, too. And all the oil. And yeah. all that oil. So the onions are caramelizing. The skewers are grilling. The flatbread's toasting. We're taking a break. When we come back, how we bring this all together in a fat, fresh salad, and more importantly, a beautiful beverage. Bring some time ahead on Dinner Diaz. <laughs> Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Aleka Shunk is with us today, known to thousands on Instagram for Aleka's Get Together, where she shares ideas for hashtag entertaining at home. Today she's sharing some hashtag yummy ideas with us and making some summer specials. Sweet chili chicken skewers, an arugula feta flatbread, watermelon feta salad, and a peach white wine spritzer. Before the break, we took our marinated chicken and tried to win the world record for the most pieces on one skewer, then grilled them up right here on the stove. And while they cooked, we took plain naan up a level here. Mm -hmm. We dressed it with olive oil, salt, garlic powder, and pepper before we started toasting it. So the chicken yeah. looks like it's not just done just yet. So what are we doing here? Yes, yeah, so we're just going to, the last couple minutes before we take it off, we're going to brush it uh, with some our leftover glaze. This mm -hmm. is why it's a marinade slash glaze, because mm -hmm. we want to coat it in all this delicious sweet chili sauce last, right before we take it off. Adds a little bit more flavor and keeps it nice and juicy. Oh, so. they look fan absolutely okay, fantastic. <laughs> Those look really good. And so these are just going to finish up, get that yep. nice little bit more of that cook. Yep. What else do we have to do here? Okay, so we're going to prepare our flatbread. Now okay. that the naan is nice and toasted mm -hmm. and we have that yummy seasoning on it, we're going to, I mean, this is like super simple. Yeah. You can't get any simpler. And I like this because it's a good vegetarian dish. Okay. Because, you know, when you're entertaining, you need to meet everybody's. Everyone's got to have something on a plate. Restrictions. Totally. Right? So, and you can get gluten-free bread too if you want. I so, um, we're going to start by adding our caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. This is the best part. Add as much or as little as you want. I, I feel love like it. it's like, you know, you can't really have too much. Um, slather all of that delicious oil on as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and, and then, you know, that's going to like be our base to kind of sop into the naan um, and add a nice little starting layer of flavor. Oh, yeah. Say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all those just sugars just coming through that oh, whole I caramelization. Know. I know. And then we're going to add our arugula. Okay. Yes. So, as little as much as you want. I don't like to add too much because then it will end up falling off. So just enough to get like a nice, a nice fresh little bite. fresh bite there. Bite, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very nice. And make us feel a little healthy in the summer. And you know, hey, we worked all winter for that part, <laughs> just to have a little bit of fun. And then top with as much feta. You gotta have the Greek feta cheese as much as you want over top. It's super creamy if you get the imported Greek feta. So don't get the stuff in the in the container that's like 
you know, crumble. This is the crumble this is yourself. crumble it yourself, and then just a little bit of this balsamic yes. glaze here. Nice little drizzle of balsamic glaze, and you can just get this at the store. Super easy. It's like a thickened balsamic of vinegar with some um, sugar, and it just adds a little sweetness to the salty feta. It's like that's all you really need. That right there is an absolute meal in itself. Yeah, seriously. I that looks so good. Give me this in the spritzer, in the spritzer, I'm good. All right, well then, hey, let's get straight to it then because okay. it's booze o'clock somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I love a good spritzer in the summertime because okay. most people are, you know, having get togethers during the day. So, I mean, it's something light so you can sip on all day and not like fall over. Well, that's, that's the whole point of this one here. I mean, like, you know, hey, boys, I know we like to have some of our IPAs and girls too. Yeah. Sometimes we gotta just like put the heavy stuff away. Yeah, have a little fun with this one here. Exactly. This is where the party's all at. Exactly. All right. So we added about three cups of any wine. I like a dry wine, but okay. really any white wine that you like. Okay. Um, some peach juice or peach nectar, whatever you can find in the store. Very cool. Very yes. fun. Yes. Some lemon juice for some brightness. Okay. Um, we're going to add some bubbly. This Ooh. is the spritzer part. Okay. Right? Very cool. Yes. So as much, well, like a cup, you know, as much. And sometimes you can wait to add this last minute before guests come because you don't want to be flat. Yeah, right? you just want to have that extra effervescence right there. All right. Effervescence, it's all about the bubbly. So then we're going to add some lemon slices just to make it look pretty. Very cool. Um, some peach slices. Very nice. And then we need some fresh herbs. We're going to do some mint today. And it, it'll tie in the mint in the watermelon salad too. So I love it. Just dump that in there. And we got everything yet. We're going to mix that up. Look how pretty. I like to serve this in a big wine goblet. Okay. It's like a big one because it's light, you know, the more, it allows it, us to drink more. It allows you to drink a little bit more because yes, the, the, the ice will melt. Sure, of yes. course. Uh-huh. Yes. Um, and then we're going to garnish with a nice fresh sprig of mint. Okay. A little bit more lemon. I mean, you can't really. Oh, yeah. Put too much, right? Oh, yeah. I like, this is like my favorite part when doing drinks. And then I like to put a little fun at the top. That is okay. fun. Right at the top right yeah. there. There we go. And watermelon. Watermelon salad here. So yeah, so again, we have more feta cheese because the Greeks love their feta and it ties Because why not there. actually? It's not even just for the Greeks, it's for anybody who just wants to have a really good like cheese here. Feta overload. So we're gonna add like a couple cups of cubed feta cheese. Okay. Um, some Persian cucumbers. I love Persian mm -hmm. compared to like your regular old cucumbers. Totally. Because they're super crisp and they have very minimal seeds and they and the, and the skin is pa more like palatable sure. you don't have to you don't have to take off the skin so mm -hmm. let's work um a lot of fresh mint oh very you cool you can use basil too if you want mm -hmm. but i like mint with watermelon i think it goes really well and then again and then it's all there. pairing very nicely so that way the palate is just accepting it nicely exactly. very cool um some red onion definitely red i don't like using white because you know white is more pungent we're going to use more of a crisp red it's more mild mm -hmm. and it really goes good with the feta lovely so once that's all together we're going to mix up our watermelon salad dressing okay so we're going to add some i'm going to move this here we're going to add to some olive oil some honey so good. now this i know the watermelon's already sweet but I mean, you never know what kind of watermelon you pick. Sometimes sure. it could use a little help in the sweet department. So a little bit. It's gonna bring out the sweetness more. Absolutely. Some more lemon juice, okay. And then a little bit of sea salt. Very nice. Okay, then really super light dressing. We're gonna just whisk that up and then pour it all over our watermelon salad. Very simple. To yeah. get Aleka's tip for making this sublime summer menu, grab the recipes for everything she's been sharing at dinnerdias.com. Just scan the QR code to get there. Oh yeah, look at all that come together yeah. so yeah. nicely. And then we can just toss it and definitely do this last minute because all the juices in the watermelon will kind of leach out and we kind of want to keep it as fresh as possible. So there we go. Don't forget, if you make any of these recipes, we want to see how they came out. Share your photos with us at facebook.com slash dinnerdias. That's what Susan from Lakeland did. Hi, Susan. She saw the episode where I was cooking with a certain Holden Philbin for Take Your Children to Work Day, and she made the easy calzone we cooked up and said, I love to cook and watch cooking shows. We loved Holden's calzone and the fragrant marinara sauce. Thank you, Holden and Chef Jeff. Thank you, Susan, for watching and having some fun. Aleka, I gotta ask you, I mean, is this something that you'd be getting together on over here? I mean, is this like a party or not? It's like one of my favorite things to eat, oh, so 100%. If that I make one, it with my son like you, then that would just like, it's icing on the cake. Susan, you did well, my friend, you <laughs> did well. When we come back, Aleka and I taste test today's idea for dinner ahead on Dinner Diaz.
Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Our ideas for dinner today came from Aleka Shung, expert in entertaining and the Aleka behind the blog, Aleka's Get Together. She's been sharing some summer recipes with us, sweet chili chicken skewers, an arugula feta flatbread, and a watermelon feta salad in this beautiful, perfect peach white wine spritzer that we just have to go into first. Okay, yes, okay let's cheers to that one. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just fun. It's fun. Okay, it's, it's just fun. You could sip on that all day. So where do we get started on? Where where were you taking me? No, I mean we already sliced up our flatbread, so I guess we can each take like a slice. You can serve it like this, or just you know, okay. family style, however you'd like. Okay. Let's try that. Mmm. This. The, the naan is nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. and, like a little crunch to it. Otherwise, it's gonna be like a. A floppy pizza, right? We don't want that. You don't so. want that. <laughs> and then, like, the chicken skewers, they're fun to eat. You can eat it right off the skewer. Either way, it's still going to be just good. Mm -hmm. A little sweet, not too spicy at all, really. It's just super mild. And you get all the flavors of what you would think you would have from the grill, mm -hmm. but there's no grill. Mm -hmm. This is all done inside the house. That is absolutely fantastic. Thanks again to Aleka Shunk. A link to our website and socials are at dinnerds.com, which is also where you can grab the recipes for everything we've made today. I'm Jeff Philbin. Thanks for watching, and see you next time with more Dinner Diaz.